Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. There's a helicopter flying by. Okay. The heat in Lagos is so unreal, guys. Like, I am so warm. My name, if you're new to the channel, is Sassy Funke, and I'm a Nigerian travel and lifestyle blogger and blogger. So you're gonna find a lot of travel reviews, travel content, and lifestyle content. I really hope you really enjoy it. And if you enjoy it, make sure you subscribe and give it a thumbs up. See all that noise. Really Lagos traffic talking for you. Look at that traffic. Today's video is going to be a travel review of my flight from Lagos leaving to London. So I'm gonna stop over in Paris because I'm flying on Air France. I'm gonna stop over there. My flight is in a, it's in about like, I think seven hours or eight hours, but I'm leaving my house now. Why? Because of this, guys. Oh, gosh, I'm like sweating so much. <laughs> Look at that traffic. The traffic is insane. And I don't know what I'm gonna be expecting sort of when I get closer to sort of the mainland, guys. So I am really like, pumped to leave and get out of this traffic and just relax in the lounge guys look at how hot i this is how hot it is in lagos this is reality it's insane insane i really hope you enjoyed this video if you have any comments anything you want to know make sure you leave a comment below okay guys i just packed my hair because the heat is too much but i want to show you guys how i'm dressed today i'm super dressed for comfort like i have this cute blouse that i got in abuja and I'm wearing some ripped jeans that I got in Woolworths in during my trip to Kenya. And my trainer is from Carrie Moore. So super comfort, stylish, but comfortable. Because there's no point in killing yourself. Even though I feel I am killing myself with this blouse because it is so hot, 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 hot. Guys, I am now in my taxi buy on my ride to the airport. And this is me thinking, okay, I left at 3.30, 3.40. And my flight is at 11 o'clock, so I'm sure it'll take me like maybe 30, 40 minutes to the airport. But my taxi driver was like, uh uh, it's gonna take longer, that there's still traffic on the mainland. So I'm like, one cannot win in this Lagos. That is what we Nigerians deal with. But the issue of traffic is something that is, it's a problem in the city. I think when you resolve traffic in Lagos, life will be better for most Nigerians. <laughs> a quick debrief of my experience so far it took me like an hour to get to the airport from VI which wasn't too bad once I got to the airport around I, hello yes I'm coming um, I got to the airport around 4.45 the check-in for Air France wasn't yet open so I had to wait I think about 20 minutes it opened just past five and check-in was pretty pretty quick and easy I think there were about three check-in desks for Sky Priority, that's business class, um, premium economy. I've got to mention actually guys, I'm actually flying premium economy, which means you are Sky Priority, so you check in quicker with the business class people. I was praying they would upgrade me, but no. So check-in was really, really quick. The lady was really, really nice. I noticed like they made a huge effort in terms of just the way they spoke to like the people in line and for the business class line. And uh, when I finished checking in, they were very much like, oh, have a pleasant flight, madame, and whatever, you know, which was quite, it was quite nice, you know, I guess customer service is, is doing good. Then I went to, through customs and immigration, and that was pretty smooth too, to be honest. The guy that was at security was checking my passport like numerous times, like looking at all my pass, like my, was checking my Nigerian passport where I had all my, my Asian visas in there. So I think he was looking and thinking, this girl 
where I have what kind of job do you do that you're traveling to all these places anyway? I think the moment I told him I was British, she just let me go like okay, this this one should just go. Guys, it's literally 5:30. My flight is around 11 and yeah, so far so good. Because I'm not business class, I can go to the lounge, but I have my own priority pass lounge I'm gonna go to later. But before I do that, I'm gonna check out some of the arts and crafts-ish here. And it's this cool store here, it's really popular. It's been there since I was a child. And I'm gonna check out what they're selling here. Let's see. <laughs> what did I, I buy? Think, I think it's you like necklace. Yes. No, no, no. I bought something from there. Yes, what yes, was that? What did I buy? You buy magnet, magnet. No, no, it's not. Uh, yes, you buy magnet. You buy top. Top for what? I'm just looking. There's no money. shop I feel like stepping in there should I should I not I think I should not there's KFC right there but yours truly is going to eat free food at the lounge that's what I'm off to now I got two bangles from the guys at the arts and craft center in the mall here in the airport here they've known me for years I've always been going there for so long so I'm actually quite impressed they still remember me but I always try and buy something because I feel it's a great way to actually I don't know to like give back to you you know the community you know if we Nigerians are not going to spend money who else is going to spend money right yes on arriving on the plane I was actually really impressed with just the way the layout of the Air France plane looks Premium economy was really cute actually, and I love the fact that it felt spacious. The screen was small, not as big as I expected it to be, but it was so spacious in terms of the leg room. And I'm a small person anyway, but still I found it very spacious. We had complimentary cold water, which was nice because it was pretty hot in the airport. The tray table in front of me was pretty large and was foldable. It just showed you how big the actual seat is for that to happen. There was also an Air France magazine to look at on the plane. On our seat was also a large blanket, which was very nice because it gets cold on the plane. In front of me was also a foot rest, which is nice and comfortable to actually rest my foot on. Premium Economy had this really cool reading lights, which I really liked. Also, we had special headphones, which were noise cancelling headphones, which were really cool too. Whenever the seatbelt sign is on, your seatbelt must be securely fastened. It will elegantly highlight your waistline while ensuring your safety. our meals I decided to check out their entertainment system the entertainment system was actually not that bad there were a few movies that I could catch which was good then I looked through the menu and found exactly what I wanted to eat and of course I went for the classic chicken so here is the food I got served there was some fruit salad there was some cheese and also some chili sauce since we're African that has to happen there's some also some cheesecake dessert there was some salmon and lentil with lemon some bread which was soft so i was quite impressed about that actually because i feel planes always give you hard bread at times finally to the main meal was some jollof rice and chicken which is very classic on all these flights from and to lagos I ended up sleeping for most of the flight, which meant I actually woke up just about two hours before we landed, which meant it was already time for breakfast. So they gave us a chocolate pastry, a pont chocolat, offered us tea and coffee or juices. So I ended up getting an orange juice actually. So 
so next was to review the toilet. Premium Economy and Economy passengers actually share the same toilet. So the toilet was pretty much standard, you know, had a sink, I think pretty much standard size. I always wish Economy toys were actually bigger, but I guess you get what you pay for. Size, as I said, standard. I could sort of turn around in it. Well lit, um, no smoking in the lavatory as usual. The toilet was quite clean, which probably gave me the impression that they actually clean the toilets regularly during the flight. I quickly refreshed and got myself, you know, looking decent to disembark the plane. So after about a 15 minute flight from Paris, we arrived safely in London and I got myself an Uber to take me home. Um, thank you so much for watching this video. I really appreciate you guys' support on my channel. If it's your first time, please do subscribe. Keep, please give this a thumbs up and if you love it, do share it. Thank you so much and I'll see you on my next video.